Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and today I'm going to be sharing with you a try-on featuring the new Profusion Chocolates palette. Now I shared with you a haul featuring a lot of Profusion products and this is the palette that you all wanted to see so I thought I would share this with you first. I really, really love this brand. I'm so, so pleased to have come up upon it because it's inexpensive, but the products that I've tried so far are so good, especially the eyeshadows. So of course, I had to share with this one with you first. On the back of the palette, it gives you the ingredients, it gives you an idea of how to use the palette, um, and it's also cruelty-free as well. You can see that there. This one retails for, I think it's £11.99. You can pick it up on the UK site and the US site. And also you can pick it up from stores that sell Profusion. And I don't think there's any in the UK. I know that Boots did feature some of the gift sets um, recently, but I think most of those are now sold out. So um, do check your local boot store. I don't think there's any left online, but do check your local boot store if you want to perhaps uh, check out the formula. Um, but you won't be able to pick this up in boots at the moment. It is just from their UK site. And of course, the links will be down below. Now, I really love the colors in here. They're just beautiful. You've got neutrals, which I absolutely love. I think neutrals are a staple because they can create, or they will create, a beautiful base for us to then obviously add some beautiful shades over the top and in this one you have got maroons you have got greens and you have got browns you've also got like a peachy orange there what I'm going to do I'm not going to swatch all of them because I do think that swatching every single one is a little bit pointless because obviously you want to know how they apply on the eye but just to give you an idea of the formula and the shades I'm going to swatch wicked which is like a sea green. So that's Wicked. I will also swatch Quest, which is a matte green as well. Okay, and I'm also just gonna clean that off. Um, I will also swatch, what shall I go for next? Uh, sunny, which is a shimmery yellow. So I'll go alternate with shimmer and matte. So this is sunny, Ooh, lovely. And then I will share with you Fuse, which is like a burgundy matte. The mattes are not swatching particularly well, but I do know from this brand that um, and this is why I always say don't really go by the swatches because um, it's not really until you apply them on the eye that you can tell how good they're going to apply. Also Tiger's Eye, which is a shimmer. Okay, so basically that's a little bit of a sample of the shade. So we've got shimmer, matte, shimmer, matte, and then shimmer with that Tiger's Eye. Now, obviously, the proof is in the pudding. How do they apply on the eye? So I'm going to get this brush, which is the 251 Eye Increase Contour Brush from Primark. It is a big fluffy brush. And what shall I go in with first? Of course, I've already primed my eye with the Revolution Pro Eye Elements in Central. Um, should I go in with Likeable? I think I'm going to go in with Likeable, which is this one here. That one there. Um, they don't have a mirror mirrors in these larger um, palettes, but you know it doesn't really worry me because I don't really use the mirrors anyway. Um, and I think we've all got mirrors. It's not a you know a deal breaker with me. So I'm just going to put that all over the eye crease and above. Okay, so that's the shade likable. There's a couple more palettes actually from this brand that I really want to pick up. I also asked them because I did notice that on the US site and the US Instagram that they have had a lot of new palettes launch on their website. So I have asked if these will be launching on the UK site and they have said that um, 
from January they should be launching more so obviously do keep looking at the UK site obviously if you're based in the UK. Now what am I going to go in with? Um, I think I'm going to go in with that beautiful shade Fuse that I swatched which is like an aubergine colour. Um, it is like a brown, it's like a brown but it's not quite brown, it's got a little bit of a burgundy um, hue to it and I'm just going to, that's it, tip my mirror up a little bit and then I'm going to start putting it through the crease. Then take it up a little bit. Oh, now that is a beautiful colour. It's actually not as deep as I thought it was going to be, and I'm pleased by with that actually, because I did think that first shade that I've put on is not um, that deep. So I really wanted to transitional shade a little bit more depth in that crease and above, like in that transitional area and that has worked beautifully so that is the color fuse now of course I'm going to do that on the other side oh, love that Now, I always think that palettes with a lot of neutrals in them, I know that sometimes we can say, you know, it's a little bit dull, a little bit boring, but these are a staple, aren't they? They're a staple for us because we always lay down, even if we're going to do a really bright eye, you know, you have to um, lay down a base first. And um, this is actually what drew me to this palette. What I also really like about this brand and I'm really, really loving the fact that you are embracing this brand as well because um, I know that I obviously um, share with you a lot of promotion, pro um, <laughs> not promotion, um, the pr I'm trying to say two words, revolution and pr profusion. <laughs> um, I share with you a lot of revolution products. There, got it right. Um, because the brand is very affordable, but not only is it affordable, um, they also really look after their customers and their products are amazing. And I'm really getting the same feeling from Profusion. And I'm really, really thrilled with the comments that you're giving me because I know that you're really embracing this brand. So, um, you know, like I am. So I'm thrilled about that because I think this is another brand like Revolution that gives us value value for money and what I also like is that they also give us a lot of products because if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that I like to change up things often I don't like to stay with the same thing I like to change it up and I get bored of things quite quickly so you know one day I'll like a green eyed look the next I will like you know red the next I would like yellow and so on so what I like with brands is I like them to bring out and release lots of products so I've got a lot of choice so again I feel that this brand really does that for me I'm going to put this fuse shade which I am absolutely loving I put on a nude lip um, and the lipstick that I'm wearing actually is from Morphe. I'll just uh, tell you what I'm wearing, um, if I can read it. The light is going. Um, if not, I'll have to put it down below. Um, let me just see if I can read. I think it's wifey, um, but I can't see it. The light is going quite badly here in the UK. Um, I've actually been to the beach with the puppy for the first time today. So if you're not signed up for my Instagram or following me on Instagram, um, then do follow me on Instagram because I will be posting videos of me and my puppy on the beach for the first time. So this is why I am filming a little bit later in the day and wow, Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with that shade, Fuse, it is beautiful. I was thinking about doing a green look because obviously the greens in here are just stunning. But I'm really, really loving this colour so, so much. I want to deepen it up a little bit. I think I'm going to now go in with the shade VIP, which is this shade here. 
and it just shows doesn't it that when you purchase a palette you think wow you know I'm purchasing it because of um, I really want that want to try out those greens and I have had comments from a few of you um, saying yep I love greens I really you know want it want palettes with green in it um, and that's why I purchased it and now <laughs> I'm doing like a burgundy I look because um, and I really love that as well it's really deepened it up um, yeah loving so far I'm absolutely obsessed but I am actually getting more and more obsessed with this brand for the reasons that I have mentioned I just love it so so much I'm just gonna take that up a little bit beautiful smoky gorgeous just how I like my eye looks more recently just want to take that out a little bit so yeah my details for my Instagram will be down below so you can um, you know check out those videos but yeah he absolutely loved it at the beach today so much freedom and funnily enough I think everybody thought should we go to the beach today <laughs> because we came across so many dogs <laughs> but as usual my little puppy was the focus of a lot of people um, he gets attention wherever he goes okay now what do I put on my um, what do I put on my lid do I go for the green now or do I keep it burgundy I think I'm going to go with that wicker shade actually the shade that I um, shared with you um, which is this one here because I think it's going to look beautiful on the lid I'm all about going for different um, and also it's different from um, it's like a, a green but it's got a lot of reflection to it and it's got a lot of light to it as you can see there it's not like a um, emerald green it's oh, beautiful I could have gone for the yellow I could have gone for the I was going to go for the burgundy but then I thought no because I know I'm going to get lots of requests why didn't you use the green so I thought oh, right at the last second I'm going to change that up these shimmers go on like an absolute dream. Oh, obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. Now, I want to go in with a champagne. Um, I'm going to go in with Glory, which is this one here. Obviously, the palette is upside down. So this is the green that I've gone in with. That one is wicked. Um, there's nothing wicked about it at all. And I'm going to go in with this one, which is Glory. And let's get that on this brush. The brush I'm now using is the 250 brush from the same set as this fluffy one from Primark. The eye brush that I went in with for the crease is the eye contour brush, which if you're brand new to my channel, you will see that brush a lot. If you come across it in your local Primark, pick it up. It's only a pound and it is the most amazing brush I have used. I have tried so many other eye brushes and I cannot get on with anything else. Okay, I'm just going all the way around the inner corner. If you're also brand new to my channel, because I know that there's a lot of um, brand new some subscribers from my figures, um, what I also do with the inner corner is just keep it really tight all the way around and I don't like too much too high I like it quite tight on around the inner corner and then I go all the way round and also I like to blend it into the lid shade as well sometimes I like to match um, sometimes I don't sometimes I like to clash my colours it just depends on what mood I'm in. Oh, 
That is stunning. Sometimes I think to myself, you know, when you look at your eyes, wow, I don't know how I came up with that, you know, kind of combination because sometimes um, it is the colours that you least expect to work that actually work the best. Oh, again, I'm just obsessed. I'm just going to get a, a clean eye contour brush, get a little bit more fuse and just go through the crease a little bit just, um, just to clean up that. But if you try this um, brand, you will be so impressed with the shimmers. They glide on um, just like you're actually using a cream to powder kind of um, eyeshadow. But yeah, I'll have to list the lipsticks down below. Like I say, the light is going here. I know that you can see me very, very well because I'm getting the last of the sunset um, light through. But here in my room, it is pretty dark because I do film in natural light. I always get lots of questions. What do you, do you have a ring light? No ring lights. There's no um, gimmicks with me at all. I and I get a lot of questions about what do I film with. I don't use a camera as such. I use my iPhone. I use just the basics so that you can see this is really me. There's no editing. There's nothing um, that I do to my videos. Basically, how I film them, how I am is well, how you can see me is how I am. There's nothing done to my videos whatsoever. Now, as always, I am using the Revolution HD Smoky Waterproof Liner, which is getting shorter and shorter. And I have now sharpened it. <laughs> okay, so that's the liner on. What I also really like is when you have neutral eye base and then you go like that and you've got a beautiful colour on the lid. Um, now I'm using the Revolutions Mascara Revolution. I've already got a little bit of this on already because obviously I've been out and about to the beach. A uh, little bit windswept. But very, very... Um, invigorating actually after Christmas and especially for the puppy to run I didn't let him off the lead though not this time um, but it was really lovely for him to run along the beach and he really really enjoyed himself so just deepening that up a little bit and bringing that out a little bit more oh, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm just putting a little bit more of Fuse underneath. And that is my eye look completed using the Chocolates palette from <laughs> Profusion, I'll get the name right this time, from, uh, from Profusion Cosmetics. I am obsessed. I think the shade that I'm most obsessed with is the shade Fuse down here. It's like a brown with some burgundy in it. I love it. It really gave me a fantastic base, but that green, that wicked, nothing wicked about it, it is stunning. Really made my eyes pop. I am obsessed with that palette. If you would like me to share with you another look, I could possibly do that, but I have got a lot of Profusion Cosmetics to share with you. But that is what I wanted to share with you today. Of course, I would love your feedback. What are you thinking about that palette? I'm sorry if the light's now going, it's nearly dark, but I really wanted to share with that with you today and get that done because I'm not filming tomorrow, but I will be back on Monday my birthday to share with you and of course I know it's New Year's Eve everybody celebrates my birthday with me and um, I'll be back then with a yearly favourite so obviously if you haven't already subscribed please do so to make sure that you don't miss out on that obviously keep your comments coming and I'll see you again on Monday thank you so so much for watching thank you bye